Hi uh, guys, Mike here from Com3 Interactive. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit obscure. You may never have thought to do this before, but it is actually a really cool effect. And that is, we're going to replicate a security camera inside of our game. What I mean by that is, we're going to have a security camera up in one of the corners of a room, and we're going to have a monitor on a desk that's going to display whatever that camera or that security camera is seeing. So there's multiple different uses for this. I'm just going to show you the basic of getting it up and running, and you can do with it as you will. So not much more to say on it than that. We're just going to get started. But right after I thank Gigatank3000 for sponsoring this video, I've got his links down in the description below. Go check him out on Twitter. Go check out his website. Keep up to date with what the guy's doing. And I also just want to thank everybody supporting me over on Patreon. You guys are fantastic. So here we go. We see I've just got this basic scene. I'll put the links to the asset packs that I used for this tutorial in the description. But as you can see, just a basic room. We have a desk with a computer on it, currently displaying nothing. And we have a security camera up here. And what we want, we want to make sure that whatever this camera is seeing is going to be popped out on the screen. So this should be relatively straightforward. And as you may have guessed, what we're going to do first, we're going to start by adding a camera to our security camera. So we come up into the hierarchy, we see I have my security camera split into two objects. One for the base, because that's going to be static, and one for the camera, because what we're going to do, we're going to just add a little bit of rotation to this left and right, like a normal security camera. So inside of my camera object, I'm going to add an actual camera. And because this isn't my main camera, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the audio listener from it. We can go and center this to whereabouts our lens is. Yeah, that looks about right. Looks like it's facing forwards. So now that we have our camera set up, we need something to render that image to because currently we have a first person controller as our main camera. So that secondary camera right up, which corner is it? There isn't actually doing anything at the moment. So let's go into our assets. We'll right click, create, and we'll create a render texture. Call that security camera texture. And we're going to resize this. Now, obviously, the higher resolution you have, the harder your game has to work. But for this example, I'm going to use a relatively high resolution just to show you it working. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do half of HD, which is going to be 1920 divided by 2 on the X and 1080 divided by 2 on the Y. So 960 by 540. We select our actual camera object and then we can drag in this render texture into the target texture field. So now whatever that camera sees, we're going to project onto our texture. But now we need a way of getting that texture onto a 3D mesh, so a monitor. And the way we go about doing that, we can create a material. I'm going to call that monitor screen. And we're going to set this from standard. We're going to change it to unlit texture. We'll drag in our render texture into the texture field and then drag our monitor screen material onto the monitor's screen. And as you can see, it's already displaying what we want. And if we go ahead and rotate our camera object, we can see that that updates in real time. So if we just add a quick animation to our camera object, we can see this running. So go to our animation tab, create. I'm going to call that camera move, and I'm going to hit record. Go into my transform and add the rotation property. And I'm just going to jump forward a few frames and I'm going to set an animation up wherein my camera moves to the right, holds for a second, moves back to the center, moves to the left, and then back to the center. So let's just double check that working. Nice and straightforward. And I'm just going to slow that down. So if I come over to my animator tab, I can set that to 0.25. And now because our actual camera is a child of a camera 3D object, which we're animating, the camera is going to animate with it. So if we save that, hit play, we can come over to our monitor 
and we can see the camera that's up in our top right corner moving and displaying exactly what it can see. And that method can actually be applied to any object in your scene. You see, if we take our camera over to our desk and drag and drop our monitor screen material onto it, we should now have our camera output moving along our desk, which obviously doesn't look the best, but it just gives you an idea of what these render texture materials can actually do. So it's been pretty short, but I hope it's actually taught you something. I hope I've given you a decent introduction to render textures and materials. Also, if you're interested in the first person controller, that series is gonna start next week. I'm gonna build up a modular first person controller for you guys, which we can drag and drop and use into further tutorials. So that'll be a good one to follow if you're actually interested in following any of my future first person tutorial series. But yeah, it's been short, it's been sweet. I hope you've learned something. So I'll see you again next week. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel for weekly Unity tutorials.